What's up everyone? How is it going? Oh, this is Stash and we are in the XMB menu. And that only means one thing. It's time for a platinum review. Oh. Last episode we finished up Ratchet and Clank all for one. We got the last of the bonus collectibles and we got the platinum trophy bringing us to 32 platinums on the road to 42. We got 10 more games to do in this series, 9 more before Call of Duty Ghost comes out with the PS4. That's right, we're going to be finishing the series by doing the brand new Call of Duty Ghost on the brand new PS4. I, I'm super excited, I hope you guys are as well, it's going to be a great time. Uh, but we, got a lot more, we have a lot more great times before that's going to happen, so... Uh, let's uh, let's get going. This episode, we're gonna be review doing our platinum review of Ratchet and Clank All for One, which just so happens to be the last Ratchet and Clank game I had yet to platinum. I now have all seven of the games platinumed. There is another one being made called uh, Into the Nexus, which I believe is coming out earlier next year. I don't know exactly when, I don't know the date, I don't even know if there is a date yet, but yeah, when that comes out, we'll be playing that as well. For now, let's talk about All for One. Now, before we actually talk about the trophies, I want to just say that uh, you, you may consider my review completely irrelevant because I did not play the game it was meant to be played. Uh, I ended up playing this game by myself, and it is a four-player game. And not only is it a four-player game, but it was meant to be played for four people. Now, you could argue and say, you know, it clearly is made for one person or, t you know, two people. But in really, everything about this game screams four-player. Uh, the title, all, all for one, you know, all everyone coming together for one purpose the four in all for one is spelt with the number four the picture in the trophy menu for the game has four characters and the platinum trophy is called four play so I mean, it, pretty much everything screams four player but in all aspects of the game it is a multiplayer campaign game that's what this game is it's a multiplayer campaign and I played it by myself so uh, that that being said, I'm gonna give the most accurate review I can I can give you. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put the trophies in a couple different categories. Uh, first one being level specific trophies. Uh, every single one of the hidden trophies, besides the platinum, is a uh, is a trophy for beating a boss in a in the certain level or location whatever uh, so that's what every hidden trophy is story related it's about beating a boss um, the other location trophies there's in most of the places there's a trophy for doing a certain task in the different locations um, first one you have to ride a taxi without taking any damage you gotta blow up bombs without uh, I'll blow up 85% of the exploding crates without dying because dying will reset them um, El Matador that one is tricky I'll get a little more I'll get more into detail on that one later um, boss fight boss fight shoot all this shoot all the slurks back under the water I thought I failed that one. I don't even think you need to get them. I don't even think you need to get them all in the water. But because I'm pretty sure I did not do that, but I still got the trophy. Uh, boss fight. Uh, destroy all the towers. Complete, complete a level, because there was no boss fight there. Uh, that one is a co-op. This is the only co-op trophy that's for a specific level. I'll get into the co-op trophies later. Uh, 
Escape the Polar Sea, not really a boss fight. Sort of, yeah, there's sort of a boss fight. Um, get through the laser walls in 45 seconds. Pretty, pretty easy boss fight. Um, yeah, so those are all just doing a certain task and beating the boss. You'll get half the trophies right there. Um, none of none of them are too difficult, especially if you have people, to, especially if you have friends to help you out with. Uh, if you don't have friends, one or, one or two of those can get kind of difficult, but they're relatively easy. Uh, another big portion of the trophies are weapon-specific trophies. Every single one of them is really easy to do if you're using the weapon. Uh, you know, I suggest just using every weapon regularly. You know, use all of them. Um, they are pretty simple. Kill eight enemies in eight seconds with this. Not hard. Uh, kill three with one attack. Kill four at the same time. Or shoot four at the same time. You don't even gotta kill them. Kill a hundred while Zircon is out. He doesn't even have to kill him. You just have to have him out. Uh, kill a hundred fifty with your wrench or melee. Easy. This one is yeah kill 50 enemies in a row with your melee without taking any damage can be hard if you're attempting it in the wrong spots there's a, one level that's really easy to get that on uh, then there's four weapon trophies that are specific to the characters uh, you get ratchets doppelbanger uh, corks quantum deflector Clank's Zony Blaster and Nefarious's Cloaker. I gotta kill 15 with each of those. Kill 30 that are enemies that are distracted by the Doppelbanger. And the only weapon that is not an attack is Quark's Quantum Deflector, which is a giant green floating energy sphere thing that absorbs anything that's attacking Quark. And easy way to do that, just find a turret that's shooting a thousand shots and get that one um, there's two co-op right here I'll go to those later um, then you get the uh, weapon trophies like just for weapons you gotta buy your first weapon buy half the weapons buy all of the all of the weapons upgrade one weapon completely and upgrade all of the weapons definitely do not do not upgrade all of the weapons right away Wait and see which ones you're using. Uh, you know, the ones that you're running out of ammo that you really want. Definitely buy the ammo upgrades. Um, and when you get, you know, two thirds, th two thirds of the way through the game, you're gonna want to have uh, an elite upgrade for, you know, at least one or two of your weapons. Because um, you will run out of ammo if you don't buy any ammo upgrades, and you are going to want the stronger weapons towards the last couple levels um, but definitely do not buy all the upgrades the weapons you don't use don't buy any of the upgrades for because you need your bolts for the million bolt trophy yeah there there's another one of these you gotta have a million bolts at at one time so anything you spend you have to collect again now it's not too difficult it took me about hour and a half maybe uh, after I beat the campaign and everything it took me about an hour and a half to collect the rest of the bolts and then after that I bought the rest of the upgrades um, I believe it was episode 10 or 11-1 where I show how to get bolts relatively easy and quickly um, there's two different ways one if you have weapons and another if you don't have any weapons um, but yeah, there's two ways to get bolts like that. N not gonna take that long. You're gonna get a lot of bolts as you play. Uh, but if you spend everything you have and you end up with zero bolts, you could have a million in under four hours. Now I know four hours kind of seems like a long time, but you know if you don't buy all, as long as you don't buy all the upgrades, you're gonna have plenty of bolts by the end of the campaign. So you really won't need to spend much time grinding bolts. Um, uh, there's, there's just two more killing trophies right there. 
Now the last ones are co-op. You for this last one you do need a second controller. If you don't own two controllers, you won't get this platinum. Uh, no, all you I mean all you have to do for this is start a game with two controllers with two people. Now uh, and it has to be like in your household. You you can't play with a friend online or anything like that. It has to be two controllers offline to play or not to play to get this trophy to get this trophy you don't even have to play all you have to do is load a level and you get this trophy uh, this one all you have to do is start a game by yourself so same thing just by yourself with one controller this one same thing just with someone online so there's three trophies right here all you have to do for these three is just start a game you don't even have to move just load up any level start and you get those three this one you get even before you start a game online uh, all you have to do is get to the main menu in the online section you go to the online menu and you get this trophy it just pops up so those are all really easy um, there were where were they here we go uh, life support you have to revive a teammate so uh, I suggest when you get the when you get the couch potato trophy for starting a game with two people just find the first enemy you can and let one of your characters die and as soon as the countdown gets to one revive them and you get that pretty easily this one uh, this is and it says co-op in the description but you can get this playing by yourself using the AI uh, uh, Definitely would rec. I mean, you should be getting this if you're playing. If you are playing by yourself, you should be getting this as you play. Because one thing to look out for as you play is, I mean, one thing you'll notice is when you're fighting, when you get the enemies that don't die right away, you want to be using the overloads. That that's when multiple characters shoot the same enemy at the same time. The little circle around them gets bigger time slows down and then explodes and then they go blown they get blown to shit if you're not doing that if you're not doing that in the second half of the game you are wasting way too much ammo because it c kills them significantly faster to be shooting them at the same time uh, and the AI is shit in this game so if cl you know if you're using anyone except clank you'll be having clank as your AI so if he's not shooting the same guy you're shooting at go to whatever he's shooting at and kill it help him kill it and you'll get this trophy no problem and it'll also help you out you know get through the game saving your ammo and killing guys a lot faster so that one you know attempt to get this and it'll actually help you beat the campaign campaign faster so um yeah those are those two so the only oh there was one more uh, there's one level specific trophy that you need two people for and that is a moment of reflection there's a there's a level where you have to reflect light beams to destroy generators and the the way it works with the AI is he you rotate metal uh, some glass plates and the AI shoots the laser beam off those plates to sh destroy the generators what you have to do is take control of the AI by using a second controller and change the angles so it doesn't shoot so the light beams don't hit the glass plates so you want it to only hit your reflector and the AI, AI reflector to destroy the generators I didn't realize that when I first attempted it, but after I realized it, it took a while. Because uh, you, you know, if you're playing by yourself, like I was, um, you do have to move, you know, two two characters at the same time. So it, it can get annoying, but not that difficult. The only one that's difficult when you're playing by yourself is the El Matador trophy, where you have to dodge the 
uh, the Dead Grove Beetles. Uh, there's six of them total, and it will take you about 20 minutes to get, you know, but maybe about 20 minutes to get through the whole thing, plus about 10 minutes to sit through the beginning cutscene every time you fail. So, don't you don't want to fail on this, but you will if you're trying it by yourself. It is a pain in the ass because the AI in this game is the worst I've ever seen. Clank just, you know, he runs off cliffs. He just stands right next to you and you're dead. He doesn't revive you. He he's total shit. Um, I mean, li literally, is the worst AI I've ever played with. And I played SOCOM 4. Those guys were a pain in the ass. Um, but, you know, this game was made for four people. You know, it's made for multiple people. And it wasn't really meant to be played with by yourself with an AI so I can't really complain about that um, so ignoring the stuff I really have no right to complain about this game was awesome I loved it uh, definitely different than the rest of the franchise uh, it was as different as Full Frontal Assault Those these two games were both completely different than the rest of the franchise uh, but this one was a little more enjoyable uh, Full Frontal Assault was, I think, definitely a lot more different, uh, but it was too short. It was too short. Uh, they should have done more with the online and added a lot more levels for the campaign. But it, but it was still fun nonetheless. This game, I have nothing to complain about. I, I really don't. Uh, when I played A Crack in Time, there was... I noticed it was just way too cheesy and childish for me, and that that is the one thing that stood out in that game for me. Uh, this game, there was a little bit of it, but it I'm not going to remember the cheesiness in this game at all. Uh, while I was playing it, I didn't think this game was going to be very memorable. It seemed less memorable than the original three, but now that I've beaten this game and I'm looking back on it, I actually enjoyed every minute I was playing it. It was really fun. I I loved it, and I definitely would recommend it. For I would recommend it for anyone. Uh, I mean, not anyone. I would recommend it for anyone who is a fan of the franchise. I would recommend it for people that want an easy and easy and enjoyable platinum. Uh, not just a quick platinum, but enjoyable as well. Um, and I would recommend it for people who have friends to play with. Now, if you aren't looking, <laughs> if you don't want an easy platinum, you don't have friends to play with, and you haven't played any of the other games, I probably suggest not pl getting this game. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Insomniac. Yeah, I would recommend not getting this game if those three things don't apply to you because you really have no reason to be playing this game. It's made for people who have friends um, and it's part of a franchise that has backstory so there is some dialogue that you wouldn't understand if you haven't played the other games. There's not much. I mean, you wouldn't be completely confused or anything like that if you haven't played the other games. Uh, but there is a little bit of backstory that people would get if they have played the old games uh, but the AI is just shit in this game and really annoying um, and there's really no reason to play this game by yourself if you don't like getting trophies anyways so yeah but it, overall great game uh, I, I give it a thumbs up definitely recommend so that's that uh, yeah, we're going to be continuing our series with uh, Hitman Absolution, and yeah, that's that. Uh, hope you guys like my review. Please come back to watch my gameplay of Hitman Absolution. Peace out.